one, Tarnation! Uh, I meant to do that. Howdy folks, this is Apple Geek, and welcome back for another reaction. This is the first really big piece of content that I've gotten to react to, react to in uh, quite a while. Uh, it's been kind of a long hiatus here, you know, a lot of these little shorts and I've done some pieces of fan content and whatnot, but uh, been kind of taking you know, a step back from, from the pony stuff and a little break here. Season 9 is just right around the corner here, um, but uh, definitely looking forward to uh, getting into that for the big uh, final season. And uh, before that, we now have uh, this, the Equestria Girls uh, March 2019 special. I, I guess I should say I do know, unfortunately, the title was revealed to me on this one. Uh, I, if, if I remember correctly, I've been trying not to remember, but if I remember correctly, it's uh, Spring Breakdown or some such thing. Um, but that title doesn't actually reveal anything. There's no context around it, so I really have... No idea what to expect for this special, thankfully. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and give this a watch and hopefully have some fun here tonight. Uh, the Quest for Girls special, starting now. It's been a long time since I heard this full-length theme song. I like this. Okie dokie. Yep, a spring breakdown. Okay. What's gonna break down? Who's gonna break down? <laughs> it's gonna be a mental breakdown. Nervous breakdown. That boat, that yacht, what? Okay, rarity. <laughs> spring break. Oh, you know I should have gotten that from spring break. That spring break. Wow. See, I tried not to think about it too much. So, <laughs> bulk. Ha <laughs> ha Titanic reference. <laughs> yes, yes, lovely. That paint job, though, seriously. <laughs> Okay, well, the gang's all here. Welcome aboard the Lux Deluxe. Oh, where what? You'll set sail Applejack, for a what? Of luxurious, luxuriating on our most deluxe luxury liner. Applejack's doing her best Granny Smith impression. It sounds luxurious. <laughs> Did you yes. see the petting zoo on board? Mmm, smoothies. Of course. <laughs> and I'll show you the buffet you can mm, eat donut. all you can eat at. <laughs> Twilight, this cruise has everything. Yeah, which Applejack is not appreciating right now. <laughs> I think I may have forgotten to pack my sea legs. You know, I... Oh, that... No, no, that does not look good right now. Ooh, not for Applejack. Thank you for organizing would, this trip, Twilight. I would not have expected Applejack to be seasick, though. You really have an eye for climactic battle settings. Uh, eh? Imagine going head-to-head -head with a sea monster by the pool. This animation, though. <laughs> oh, is the sea monster okay in this story? <laughs> Better than okay. Okay. She's our friend now. Who? Best spring break ever. Of course, because they just yep. Yeah, no, okay, I get it. I get the joke. Or we could do <laughs> not. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping we could do something without having to battle equestrian magic for a change. Yeah, for once, maybe? We couldn't even spend the day at Equestria World without creating a calamity. Which we then uncalaminated uh -oh. Oh, like yeah. literal awesome superheroes. No. Yeah. Call back to roller coaster friendship. <laughs> okay, awkward silence. Twilight. This is a most deserved respite. We're all very mm. thankful for the chance to relax and do absolutely nothing. Ah. <laughs> what now? 
How do you get reception in the middle of the ocean? GPS alert! We're in international waters! And? What does that mean? Tax free shopping! Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Rainbow Dash is in focus here. Hmm. This could be interesting. Well, that's an entrance. Honey walnut crisps. Candy coated cupcakes. Banana sorbet delight. <gasps> A triple chocolate berry blasted butter biscuit butt cake. Yes, please. I've waited my whole life to taste a cake like this. <laughs> and it's gone. <gasps> Excuse me, mademoiselle. Another one. How about one fresh from the oven? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Spatula. What the? Oh boy! Okay. Oh, there's those characters. <laughs> you saw it. She had a uh, spatula. Is that gonna be the villain? You're welcome. Did, did the chef? I. Mm. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> Cute little goats. A goat on a boat? <laughs> Hey, it's better than snakes on a plane. Just saying. <laughs> Aren't you just the softest thing? I think Angel just felt a disturbance in the forest. Well, Mr. Bouncy, that is impressive. I'd love to meet them. Not today! What? Here, Badash. Seems cute and cuddly now, but have you ever seen what a magic-infused evil rabbit can do? I have. <laughs> um, eat carrots. Yeah. Mm. Evil carrots. Dost thou have us the holy hand grenade? I don't know why I said it that way, but. <laughs> Sorry, I was just making Monty Python references <laughs> earlier. It's on my brain now. Oh, poor AJ. Man, I really would not have expected this from her, but. I guess we don't know that this what AJ that does is? in like radio and stuff, but you can't talk. Not without evil magic stole yeah. your voice. <laughs> Out, evil spirits! Out! Not helping. <laughs> okay, I, I figured sooner or later that's. Yeah, and that, so nice of you to notice. Really? <laughs> Your looks could kill. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, Flash. Hmm. No. Vital Lyra. Hey, but dead rubber ducky. Nice. Eh? Let me guess, a bad magic show? Nice cloud machine. Or fog, fog machine. Yeah, it's it's a magic show that's just bad. <laughs> Who is this? Is this Trixie? It's, it's Trixie. It, it's gotta be Trixie. Yep! <laughs> Two shows daily, tip your waitresses. I like that outfit of Trixie's if though. Hoping for a glimpse of the ultimate power in the universe, you'll have to wait until tonight. Nah, just looking for bad magic. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but the bad magic of others always follows the amazing magic of moi. What do you mean? Ugh, I'm talking about the old grandpas in the audience. Just so you know, I know Trixie does some cool magic on occasion, okay? I don't home. hate Trixie. 
Oh. Their magic only shows up in response to your magic. Oh, you're a genius. Well, obviously. <laughs> now, do you mind helping me shove this ten-foot handkerchief down my sleeve? <laughs> hey, a good magician never reveals her tricks, okay? This store. Wow. Plus cards. Were those plushies in the background? <laughs> Some kind of plushies there. <laughs> oh, this this is Rarity's Paradise right here. Let me guess, she's gonna customize the merchandise once she buys it. What? 9.99? Seriously? What? No tax? Oh. And... Oh my. By golly! That's real copper it is! The, the boy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Scottish hey, accent! Miss? Would, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, you can't afford my thoughts. Oh, the... Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> lovable scout like yourself. Oh, ragamuffin. Oh, this That's guy's trouble. Uh, need a hand? Oh, ragamuffin? I'm Rarity. Ah, uh, Rarity. <laughs> I can't no, 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 no. It. Rarity. Rarity. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> just, just, just roll with it. Okay. I sort of like this guy already, but I, I just feel like he might be the villain, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but... Hmm. Okay, hmm. well this is inspiring. Look at us, getting ready to play at a pool party. Who knows what hijinks will ensue, am I right? Hijinks? I'll fall in the pool fully clothed. What does the Scooby-Doo? <laughs> Aw. Are you not having fun? Huh. My whole life I've been taught that you could only bury Blasted Butter Biscuit on a bundt cake with two layers of chocolate. But this afternoon, I saw the truth. The buffet <laughs> has a triple chocolate berry blasted butter biscuit bun cake. And she got oh, banned listen. from the cafeteria. Because Rainbow Dash got me banned from the buffet! <laughs> what? She also scared the animals in the petting zoo. Aww. No, they don't want pets. It's just a zoo. Oh, Applejack. She sure yeah. wasn't helping me not get sick off the side of the boat. But you're still having fun, right? Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Not so much. It, haven't seen so much of sunset so far Sorry, here. Everyone. It's not your fault. Hey, hey. Sorry, I'm late. Nope, so, it's her fault. I got an idea for our show tonight. We unleash some awesomeness on the crowd. I'm talking rainbow lasers. Uh, Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. It, apparently. Well, do you mean we turn into ponies, or do you mean yes. the other thing? I always called that. Pony up. The rainbow lasers! Oh, I think that's a thing. It will be after we do it tonight. Who's with me? <laughs> the meta humor. It, this oh is amazing. Gosh. Can I talk to you for a second? <sighs> I like these new outfits, by the way. Twilight worked really hard to plan this trip for all of us. And uh, how can I say this without being mean? Ugh, just say it. I can take it. You're ruining it for everyone. Ow! Thank you. Mm. Your words just punch my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> just That's gonna be quoted. For a problem when there isn't one. How's that? <laughs> Hello, darlings. Where have you been? Having a little chat with old ragamuffin she was. Mm. And who are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Thanks for everything, Rarity. Rarity. Good luck for all the music and whatnot. Oh. Cheers. <sighs> it's like he fell out of a historical romance novel. Is that how romance sounds? In some cases, <laughs> this guy's definitely relevant somehow. I, I'm, I'm curious to see where this is gonna go. Hmm, AJ gonna manage to hang in there? Hopefully. Song! Get in the groove. You bring your dancing shoes. 
I already love it. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I love this song. <laughs> Flat. No, don't, don't ruin the good thing! It just... <sighs> wow! Uh-oh. Too much! Too much power! And... Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Timing too, given what just happened in the news with that that uh, cruise ship over by Norway or whatever. Oh. The good news is, now that it's dark, maybe my brain won't know I'm on a boat. Um. Yeah. No. It hurt me. Let's not let a little thing like get get Applejack and Dramamine already. What's she gonna do? She's wasting her time because this is equestrian magic. Stop! Stop! We show off our magic, and literally ten seconds later, the power blows. That's be whatever's because out there of you. Fighting back. We should split up and search. Or was the it? Who's with me? Yeah, literally nobody. I mean, I know something's gonna happen. I'm just not really sure what yet. Oh. oh. Hmm. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, but may I? But I am anyway. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. I'm just literally doing your job for you. What a mess! Did you even read the 600-page online emergency handbook? I'm sure not. <laughs> but I'm sure she did. Time to raid the dessert buffet under the cover of darkness. Ooh. Triple chocolate berry blasted butter biscuit bun cake. Here I kill. Who said that? You know what? Jesus! <laughs> Shouldn't you be upstairs? Somebody has to guard the bun cakes. Oh my! <laughs> she has a spatula and she's not afraid to use it. That was slightly creepy. <laughs> Hello, Ragamuffin. Oh no! Ragamuffin. What? What is? Are you down here? I was just uh, <clears throat> in, in the. This is gonna be good. <laughs> River dancing. Nice. When you have whatever this is, <laughs> hmm, could this be a legit thing for rarity? Oh, what? 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 That's the Storm King symbol. What is going on? This lead wire in place while the auxiliary unit cycles, and everything should be back to normal in three, two, one. No time for that. That was the equivalent of Heavy Try turning it off and on again, I think. Uh oh. That did not go well. Hmm. Pinky will not be denied her bunt cake. Life. 
Oh no. <laughs> Well, I don't think we've seen the last of that yet, but... Coal mine, but I always wanted to dance. <laughs> uh, a fancy girl like you wouldn't understand? Oh no, actually, in a school production of Bedazzled, I played a coal miner's daughter who danced in Bedazzled magical boots from her fairy boot mother. <laughs> oh! Call back to the, the Choose Your Own Adventure shorts! Nice! Oh my... <laughs> Nice timing, Dash. <laughs> I promise this is more important than all of your things. <laughs> well, it, 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 maybe. And it, it's gone. Huh? The whole ocean was glowing a minute ago. It went whoosh, 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 whoosh with little ribbon thingies. Do you know which sorcerer can conjure up the greatest magic of all? Star Mother Sword? Nature. Yep. Okay, what? sure. What you saw was probably nothing more than an innate phosphorescent biochemical property of common algae. What? If that's what you I understood that, that but boats and I'll mm. prove it. The magic came from that way. We sail out and find the source. And then then it's go time. Which then battle it, convert it, no new friend. Where would we take them? Lather, rinse, Who? repeat. The prisoners. That's kidnapping. <laughs> Are you even listening to yourself? <laughs> don't want me to be right because you're scared to be a superhero. We are not oh. superheroes. Oh, oh, excuse me. We're just ordinary girls who have saved the world from complete destruction multiple times. Uh, yes. Girl, well, she's got a point. <laughs> but the rest of us aren't in denial. Right, everyone? Let's get to those boats and do what we No, you're not in denial. Don't you're in the ocean, me. not a river. Yes, I know that was bad. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the last time I say that. <sighs> hmm. I'm thinking Twilight and Rainbow Dash are going to end up checking this out together. Oh, poor AJ. Hmm. I wasn't very nice to Rainbow Dash last night. No one's blaming you for wanting to give us a normal spring break. We'd be having one if it weren't for me. I brought magic to this world in the first place. Oh, stop! I would you for anything in the world. Stop blaming yourself. In any world. You know what? No, Star Soul did it first, so no. How about we make sure Rainbow Dash knows that, too? Aww. <laughs> Aww. Rainbow Dash! Oh, that was precious. And you she's gone. Went off into the storm, do you? Yes. Oh, I'll call her. I said you. Yeah. How do you get cell service out there? What up, nerds? It's Rainbow Dash having way too much fun being awesome to answer your call. So leave a message if you're too old to text me. Because you're too old to text me! Oh, snap! <laughs> you're going after her? Of course. She wouldn't even be out there if I hadn't brought magic to this world in the first place. What about you? Are you in? Of course I'm in. A hundred percent on board. Then get on board. Yeah. I just said I... <laughs> on board. <laughs> I'll fix the engine while you're gone. We'll be ready uh, to go before that storm hits us. Uh -huh. But you're seasick. Going below deck is the worst thing you could do. Really? Mm -hmm. yep. worse than losing Rainbow Dash. Hmm. So look that up later. I would have thought the amount of swaying would actually be less below deck, but I could be wrong. Everyone, even grandchildren. And I'll inform the below deck crew. That even though we're from two different worlds, one is a lonely coal miner, the other a sophisticated thief. Having. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll help out the deck. <laughs> we'll find Rainbow Dash. They're flushing! Let's go. I want to see where that goes with those two. <laughs> um, you, 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 you forgot to do a thing? Uh, yeah, yeah.
Oh! Deserted island? Or perhaps not deserted. Hmm. There! That's her boat! This is... This is suspenseful. I like this. Rainbow Dash. Any sign of her? You don't think she went in there? Oh, you know she did. <laughs> or oh. Where's Fluttershy when we need her? Back on the ship. I'm going in that jungle. I'm going in that jungle. Yep, there you go. The parrot must be repeating what she said. Let's go. Well, she's not on the beach, so... There? Twilight, do recall you do actually have magic powers? Just saying. Anyone could have said that. Uh, well, my name is a rainbow man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fun. Nice. You know, this is like the first legit, like, epic adventure we've been on in the EG world. Legend of Everfree, sort of, but not really. Wow. It's a deserted island in the middle of the ocean. Anything could happen. Uh. And. But. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Twilight is not enjoying this. And quicksand, of, of course. Uh, way to go, Rainbow Dash. You did it again. You had to go off on your own, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Rainbow Dash! Go, hey! The perspective. Uh, that was a nice shot. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> um, just... Take it a rest in here, you know. Drop the act, Dash. Hard work. Did you find any? Nope. Nah. Just quicksand. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't struggle. We'll find something to pull you out. Struggle? <laughs> Who's struggling? Uh, just typical rainbow dash. Do you not have your geode? Had a like, time to think. Just levitate her out of there. A lot of time, actually, and I spent most of it wishing I could make it up to you, because you were right. <coughs> Twilight wrong. Anyone could have said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Rainbow Dash. <laughs> I stop saying my name all the time. <laughs> I was a little annoyed at first, but I'll admit it. I ruined everyone's spring break for nothing. There's no magic out here. Nothing magical at all. And then... What it... The only oh, no, what? Break was me. What is... Maybe that giant plant monster? What giant plant monster? That giant plant monster! <laughs> oh! Okay! Oh, now she uses the powers. Okay, thank you. Okay, how are we gonna... Okay... Oh no, no, no! Uh-oh. What the? This is definitely equestrian magic. Is this one of those magic orbs that we haven't looped back around to yet? I can't hold it back much longer. I have a way out of this. Do you trust me? Of course. See you soon. <laughs> I'll explain later. Oh. On three. Okay.
Okay, this is unexpected. Wow. So it's a portal to where? Where are we? Not about to get eaten. Good enough for me. It's the old glowing eyes in the. I, I, I love this joke. I love this. <laughs> so many times. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh my! More posts. I knew it. So I called that person. like ages ago. You know, Twilight. I kind of messed things up on the boat. Maybe I'm shaking. Be your vacation. <sighs> We're here. We're ponies. Let's have some fun. Pony style. <laughs> well, that's not a thing we say. <laughs> this would be a fantastic opportunity to study the physical laws of a novel dimension. Shouldn't we be getting back? It's just a little rain. I'm sure I'm, I'm not going to sleep fine. tonight. <laughs> I, 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 I can't even. I, I can't even. Storm status update over. Ahoy, matey. This is Rarity. Please repeat the words you said. Again. Okay. okay. What? Is, this is no ordinary storm. Is, uh, I don't think she heard you. Too many thoughts running through my head to to verbalize right now. What? Oh my word! We better keep a low profile. Follow my lead. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh hey, uh, Big Mac. <laughs> Are they gonna run into themselves? Well, Sunset would. Oh no! <laughs> yes! Yes, Derpy! Famous artwork reference. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's a long story. Wait, how are you coming uh, in the front door and not up from where I keep the mirror? Uh, <gasps> you found another portal between our worlds. <laughs> I guess it wasn't that long. Oh, I like her. <laughs> Rainbow Dash, no other me. Good to see you both again. Wait. What about the others? Oh, they're back home waiting for us, but they're fine. <laughs> no reason to hurry back. <laughs> Oh, no reason at all. <laughs> oh. Applejack said to tell you she's about to reconnect the engine and we might feel a little jolt. Oh, when? That when pig. That pig is adorable. That joke, sorry. Try Miss Cake's chocolate fondue. It takes 20 minutes, though. Ah, we have all the time in the world. <laughs> there are no words for how awesome this is. I. Oh no. It sounded like Pinkie Pie yelling. I was yelling, silly. Standing at the front door, yelling, fondue. Pony with glasses, so I don't recognize. Here. <laughs> it's a fresh batch. Ow! Too hot. It needs to be like 
Bloopers ain't cool. Uh, oh! You, you went... Oh, okay. Yes, yes, sure. I, I approve. Mm, <laughs> I love this. Well, she has had some experience with telekinesis, but not through the horn, so that, that makes sense. I can't take much more of this. You might not And they're gonna go through too! I, I guarantee! I, 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 come on! Come on! If this is going where I think it's going. <laughs> the vase is now empty. The question is can the great and powerful Trixie bring the water back? Um, yes. Fush. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And I was rescued by my own pupil. <laughs> that rubber chicken really what? gave me some perspective on the importance of mentoring. You ponies are like superheroes. Uh. Oh, we're not superheroes. Sure, just ordinary ponies who save the world from complete destruction multiple times. <laughs> Sound familiar? Touche. Oh. <laughs> This is from our battle with the Storm King. He stole our magic and used it to create the most powerful storm in Equestria. Steph, he's gonna... <laughs> but luckily, my friends and I were able to work together to drain his magic and seal his power De into this. <gasps> that symbol looks oh. familiar. You've seen this before? It's just... <sighs> that symbol. It looks exactly like what I thought I saw in the water when we were Who? back on the boat. But we decided the magic glow was just Mother Nature. Mm. When you saw the thing that looked exactly like this thing, there wasn't any thunder or lightning accompanying it, right? <laughs> uh, there was definitely thunder. Affirmative on the We're gonna see Tempest! Tempest or Grubber or like anyone? Just Bill Pony freak out, but... I think maybe there's a chance when we destroyed the Storm King, we didn't capture all his magic, and maybe if it found its way into your world, it might be turning into a giant magic storm and threatening your friends as we speak! No, oh. Rudy, freak out! <coughs> Our friends! We have to go back! Lady Great Scott! <laughs> it's hero time! <laughs> oh, you could have said it's morph <laughs> That That had to be a little bit of a Power Ranger spoof there, but eh. Okay, are the other three gonna... No, probably not. Uh-oh. Well, that's not an option anymore. There go the light bolts! It was a very specific lightning strike. Yes, yes it was. Oh, they're back. Okay. No time to lose. Let's do this. Everybody grab on. They got the staff. Oh, my. Is that a Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs I reference? We all learned a valuable lesson today. I learned we don't have to go looking for trouble. We just have to be there for each other to find us. How'd the fireworks not get soaked? Off, I... We wouldn't have what we need to go back and save our friends. Aww. Uh, part of the plan. Right. The ship is still sinking. <laughs> the ship is sinking. Yeah, I, you might want to do something about that. Um. Oh no. It won't start. It's hero time. <laughs> it's morphin time. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing, right? Right? Right there. <laughs> wow.
Oh. It's not your fault. The storm was equestrian magic. Rainbow Dash was right all along. Whatever yeah, of course she faces. was. However, our lives are changing. We're going through it together. So let's get everyone off this boat like the superheroes we are. Yes. Yes. Who's with me? We are. See how easy that was? <laughs> 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 Rainbow <laughs> lasers. <laughs> I thought we were calling it. No, we agreed on oh. Rainbow that works too! <laughs> Once again, it's morphin' time! Nice. AJ, Dash, Pinky, and I will make sure the decks are clear. Oh yeah! I'll make a new lifeboat! I'll help! Nice! Very nice. Aww. How do they have all these animal shaped and sized light vests? I beg of you. I, I... Aww. Aww. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yes, yes. Head for the light boat, that way. Uh oh. I beat the powers. Oh, there's mother. Nice. Oh. But she could fly? I just don't notice that. Like, okay. <laughs> hinges. And just, just rip the door off the hinges. Or the whole door frame. Okay. <laughs> you! The spatula? Never to come in here. Good thing I'm a slow learner. <laughs> and the spat. I am trapped. My foot is stuck. Oh. I, I knew that was gonna get wrapped up somehow. It's gotta be the the. Triple the motor wow, that is a very sturdy cake. Really? Really? Sure, why not? It's Pinky, don't question it. Now, how are you gonna get home? <laughs> By way of Equestria? Please, please, th it's probably not gonna happen. Sp spatula? Oh, a oh, cupcake. Oh. Well, I suppose this is goodbye. Take care of yourself. You too, rarity. Oh. Don't let anyone tell you you can't be a dancer. For all coal, turn to diamonds. <laughs> That's the best advice I've ever heard. Thank you. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was sort of random, but... So... Now what? I might have a way home, but it's kind of weird. A little more on the left. <laughs> yes! 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 A little more. <laughs> Perfect. Phew! Oh! Genius! You... 
I... Nick, Ishii, Katrina, all, all, all of you. I, I love you guys. I love you. Best ever. I mean, just... <laughs> Forgotten friendship was epic. But, but this... Did, did, <laughs> Forgotten friendship, absolute best character arc story in EG World. This, just flat out best epic adventure, like... Ever. I, <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. I, I will be back with words on this. <laughs> okay, let's start with the elephant in the room. Humans have finally crossed over into Equestria. This has been pretty much the biggest uh, Equestria Girls wish list item I've had for forever. And this actually answered several questions for us. Do humans actually turn into ponies? Yes. Yes, they do. Uh, how hard is it for humans to adapt to the pony forms? Uh, apparently not that hard, actually. Granted, most of the human-turned ponies looked rather wiped out there at the end, but I think that was more of the trip through town with Sunset constantly trying to hide them in bushes and whatnot than it was uh, them trying to actually get used to these bodies and whatnot. Uh, is Saitwai a unicorn or an alicorn? Big question. Turns out she's just a unicorn. Now, this actually does make a lot of sense, uh, as she herself hasn't really done anything that would uh, be deserving of becoming an alicorn princess, not like Princess Twilight has, uh, but this also raises other questions. If she's just a unicorn, why does she get wings when she ponies up? Is it because they're actually, you know, magically channeling their pony counterparts somehow? It's kind of unclear at this point. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's just things that make you go, hmm. But anyway, uh, I do wish we could have spent a little more time with the human characters in Equestria, but in all honesty, it really wouldn't have served much purpose for the story. I, I think the time, the timing was balanced rather well there, actually. Uh, that said, now that the deed has been done, perhaps there will be more trips back and forth in the future. If not, well, at least I got to check off a big wish list item. Still, the presence of additional portals between the two worlds seems to suggest that there may be more adventures like this in the future. And if not, at the very least, the door has been left open for it if the story ever calls for it. Um, also, Sunset made a comment about you know there potentially being other portals and wondering where they might lead, suggesting the possibility of portals leading to other realms, which I find quite intriguing. I'm just really curious to see if that goes anywhere in the future, and most likely not, but again, it's out there if the story would ever call for it. Um, uh, and of course, the, the, the presence of these portals lends itself well to one of my previous theories. I spoke back in Roller Coaster Friendship about how strange it is that there are so many equestrian references and horse puns and names and everything in the human world. Now that we know that there's multiple portals open and that magic has been, you know, leaking from one world to the other, namely the Storm King's magic, I would say it's very li likely that a lot of Equestrian magic has been leaking into this world over the course of time. That magic could be subconsciously influencing individuals in the human world and causing many things in that world to mimic Equestria itself. Now, it's admittedly still a bit of a stretch, but it's a better in-universe explanation than anything else I've been able to come up with thus far. <clears throat> I, I do also wonder if these uh, portals are actually uh, completely naturally occurring, or if there was some other force at work that resulted in the terrors opening between these dimensions. I kind of doubt it has anything to do with the Midnight Sparkle incident back in Friendship Games, as that seemed very localized, and I mean, this portal here is out in the middle of the ocean. But with all the crazy magical events that have happened in Equestria itself, there's been plenty of opportunities for unexpected side effects for things like this to happen. And another possible explanation is that this is a portal that Star Swirl just you know opened way back before the, they went, he went into the void with the pillars, and it's been left open all this time just as you know an experiment that he failed to clean up before that event or something. And that seems less likely, but you know again it's at least a possibility. Oh, and, it, I, and I do find it at least a little bit disappointing that we uh, th that there doesn't seem to be any option for our human to enter Equestria in actual human form. Granted, I love seeing Saitoi freak out over her pony form and watching her and Dash try to do basic things like eating and whatnot, 
but you know, seeing ponies' reactions to humans in Equestria would, I, I think, would have been equally awesome, <laughs> especially if Lyra was around. <laughs> Still haven't gotten that little bit of the the fandom into the show yet, but uh, but anyway, enough about portals. So for spring break, the students of Kenilworth High managed to book themselves a trip on an international cruise ship courtesy of Twilight, who it seems worked quite hard to plan all this out. I do kind of wonder how they were able to afford all of this, whether it was themselves or the school. I mean, the school seems to have a lot of money to throw like a dirt track together for friendship games and whatnot. That's still kind of been un unexplained, but uh, you know, there there's lots of possible explanations, including fundraisers and whatever, so you know, not that big of a deal. It was just kind of a curiosity thing for me. Unfortunately, right from the start, we see a rift forming between Twilight and Rainbow Dash because they each had entirely opposite goals in mind for this trip. Rainbow Dash wanted an epic adventure where they would get to fight evil magic like their superheroes. In fact, she actually wanted this so badly that she was practically paranoid looking for evil around every corner, except that instead of being afraid of it, she wanted to find it. Now, of course, to Dash's credit, they do encounter magic evildoers on a somewhat regular basis, and I can appreciate the fact that she wanted to keep all of her friends safe from that evil, but, uh, and pardon the pun, she was clearly going overboard here. <laughs> Twilight, on the other hand, just wanted to have a normal vacation with her friends, and it's really not hard to understand why. Unlike her equestrian counterpart, this Twilight is still fairly new to friendship in general, and is still kind of working on coming out of her shell. Based on what we've seen in the past, starting with friendship games, she's basically been an anti-social shut-in, focusing entirely on her studies. Of course, it's not that she didn't want more out of life, as evidenced by that solo song that she had back in friendship games, but it seemed like the only path she could see, at least at that point, to a bigger, better life was more education, you know, more knowledge, more understanding about the world around her. To that end, she spent all of her time working on that and didn't really give much thought to forming friendships, most likely because she thought it would just be a distraction from uh, obtaining her goals. Then all of a sudden she discovers magic, and immediately it uh, goes wrong because of her own insecurities, leading to what must have been an absolutely horrible experience for her. Of course, this also led to her discovering what friendship is all about, and she's definitely better off for it, but that doesn't mean she can so easily forget what she did as Midnight Sparkle. We saw this directly in focus in Legend of Everfree, where she was scared to death of losing control again and allowing her magic to hurt others. Obviously now she's moved you know, quite a ways past that, is much more comfortable around her friends and whatnot. But still, since then there have been a number of additional encounters with equestrian magic that they've had to deal with that seem to constantly get in the way of them just having a normal life. It stands to reason that Twilight just really wants a chance to actually be a normal person for once being able to spend time with friends and have some fun without the constant threat of evil magic hanging over their heads. It also stands to reason that she really wanted to go all out on this trip as a thank you to the friends that have supported her, th supported her throughout all of these events, and probably thought that there is no way they would possibly run into any equestrian magic way out in the middle of the ocean. Now, Rainbow Dash clearly wasn't getting any of this. In fact, she wasn't really getting any of the signals that the others were giving her, and ended up making the cruise experience rather miserable. Now, you know, for, for Dash, these new magic powers of hers are practically a dream come true. You know, it seems like she's looking for every possible chance to use these, these powers. You know, kids often see superheroes in, you know, movies and TV shows, comic books, etc., and you know, think that these aren't so much fantasies as they are future options. You know that they there's a lot of kids that grow up, you know, dreaming about actually becoming a superhero. And Dash is someone that I can definitely see having a dream like that. So it's no wonder that she's having the time of her life right now. That being the case, the Ben 10 references that I'm still kicking myself for missing were quite well placed in the special because that show is basically about a young kid getting special alien powers that allow him to fight bad guys and having the time of his life doing so. <laughs> the others don't necessarily share Rainbow Dash's enthusiasm though. One thing I've noticed is that it seems like Dash uses her super speed a lot more often than any of the others use their powers. Now, I, I haven't specifically gone back and counted every scenario they've used their powers to keep count, but it just it feels like that's the case. Uh, now, of course, we have seen all of them use their powers in more casual situations on various occasions, including Twilight. But for the most part, it, it really just feels to me like they try to not rely too much on their powers in their daily lives. 
Even here, I noted that Twilight could have used her Geo to easily lift Rainbow Dash out of the quicksand pit, but she only actually resorted to using those uh, her, uh, her Geo powers when the magic-infused plant monster began attacking. And, you know, it makes sense, as the less they use these powers, the more they can pretend like nothing has changed, and they can just move on and not have to think about the possibility of uh, facing evil and magic at every turn. You know, we all go through changes in life, and some of which are unwanted and can be difficult to deal with. And it's natural to want to ignore those at times and just try to stick to our comfort zones by pretending that everything is just business as usual. However, doing so can be more harmful to us in the long run because rising to meet new challenges, and especially unexpected ones, is what allows us to grow and mature as individuals. And all, all that said, with great power comes great responsibility. I know, I know, that's a massive cliche, one that's constantly been held in the spotlight by all things Spider-Man, but it's not an untrue statement. If you have the ability to, sub, uh, to help someone, you also have a responsibility to help them. And the greater the ability, the bigger the responsibility. In the case of superpowers, the responsibility is absolutely massive, which is something that Peter Parker as Spider-Man struggled with greatly, as he also unexpectedly fell into the superhero role and didn't really see himself as any kind of a real hero, at least not at first. Twilight appears to have a similar line of thought, and it looks to me like her lack of self-confidence was preventing her from seeing just how great she and the others really are. You know, even upon hearing all the stories about the main six from Princess Twilight, uh, she saw you know she saw them as superheroes, while still not thinking of herself as a hero, despite uh, her and her own friends doing a lot of similar things back in the human world. You know, it's, it's honestly pretty easy to look at others who do what you consider to be amazing things and view them as larger-than-life heroes when they're really just ordinary people like yourself. It's a lot harder to look at the things you do yourself and see them as amazing and awesome, especially for someone who lacks self-confidence. You know, it can really be difficult to just really see what kind of effect that your actions and abilities can have on the world and those around you. I've talked about this before. And, you know, I myself have struggled with this many times in my life and still do to this day. Not allowing yourself to celebrate your own accomplishments can be just as unhealthy as being overly prideful, just in a different way. The biggest challenge in all of this is finding the right balance between the two extremes. Rainbow Dash was too caught up in the excitement of, of their encounters with Equestrian Magic and create more experiences like that, while not considering the danger that would bring to both themselves and everyone around them. The others, particularly Twilight, tried perhaps a bit too hard to ignore this new part of their lives, and it caused them to initially ignore what turned out to be a very serious threat. What they needed to do is realize that it's, you know, while it's not good to be paranoid about evil lurking around every corner or want to encounter danger, um, that when evil magic does appear, their heroic efforts to deal with it sh uh, should not be dismissed as insignificant. Um, Twilight did realize this in the end, uh, noting that she accepted that their lives are changing, and that rather than trying to ignore it, uh, things work out best if they all work together to face the problems that are now coming at them. And to Rainbow Dash's credit, even though she ended up being proven right after all, <laughs> She didn't gloat about it, but rather accepted that she went too far in looking for it to the point of ruining everyone else's vacation, and tried to make up for it a little bit by suggesting that they stay in Equestria for a little while so Twilight could have kind of a little vacation herself, one where she could geek out for a while on something new and interesting, you know, on, that she enjoyed. Uh, in the end, I think both of them ultimately found the right balance. And I'd, I'd also like to point out how great it was uh, to see how well Twilight handled her anger with Rainbow Dash. Now, she had every right to be frustrated and angry with her, especially after forcing them to follow her onto an uncharted jungle island in the middle of the ocean with who knows what kind of dangers lurking around. You know, and even then, Dash initially tried to act all cool and composed when they found her, not wanting to admit her faults, leading to Twilight muttering, you know, typical Rainbow Dash under her breath. Uh, while looking, you know, while walking up to try and find a branch to, to help pull her out of the, the quicksand pit there. You know, I'm, I'm just really impressed that despite how peeved she was over everything Dash had done up until that point, she kept cool and didn't yell at her at all, really. You know, and I, 
I think that speaks volumes about her character and her potential as a leader, despite the fact that she still has a long way to go on that front. Oh no, uh, um, switching gears just a bit, regarding the Storm King magic, um, honestly I'm a little bit confused about this because it seems like some of the details of the movie story got uh, just a little mixed up here. My understanding was that the Storm King didn't really have any magic of his own, and that the magic in the staff was all pony magic siphoned off from the four princesses of, of Equestria. Uh, here, Princess Twilight said that he used the magic to create the most powerful storm in Equestria, and then they used the staff to, quote, drain his magic and seal his power. Now, this is honestly a bit nitpicky, but if he just used the princess's magic, I'm not really sure how they can call it his magic. The only thing I can think of there is that the, the Storm King used the staff to actually create a whole new kind of spell uh, with the raw power contain contained in the staff. So in that sense, I guess you could consider it his magic, even though he wasn't generating it, he was just using it. Um, oh, and they did use the staff to stop the storm, though I would have described it more as dispelling the, the magical storm rather than draining it away. That said, we never really saw what Twilight did with the staff up in the clouds back in the movie. Only We only saw that the storm dissipated and suddenly she reappeared with the staff. So maybe she really did drain the storm magic from the, uh, the sky and, and seal it away in the staff. Again, it's a bit nit, uh, nitpicky overall and rather unimportant. I just know there's been some discussion about it in the fandom and whatnot. So I thought I'd mention, you know, my take on that. Um, that aside, I really ab uh, applaud the uh, creative use of the movie storyline in a way to create this crossover story. I quite honestly never expected to see any storyline ties to the movie at all in the, the EG world. So that was, uh, that was definitely a fun little treat. Um... And on a kind of sort of vaguely related note here, I do have to point out something else. You know, and in addition to all of Star Swirl's shenanigans back in the day with portals and whatnot, we now also know that there are multiple portals at present, you know, in, in, in present day here, um, through which Equestrian Magic can escape into the human world. This means that Sunset Shimmer was not the first one to bring magic into this world. I mean, we already knew that, but this further reinforces it. And even if she hadn't done what she did back with, um, you know, bringing Twilight's crown to the world and, and whatever, um, the Storm King magic still would have gotten loose in the human world one way or another. And they probably would have been much more ill-equipped at that point to deal with it. Um, so, you know, Sunset just really needs to stop beating herself up about all of this. Um, you know, she's done very well overall to make amends for all her past misdeeds and overcome her guilt, but it just seems like this is one thing that still just keeps nagging at her because she keeps mentioning, you know, her mistakes from the past. And I really hope that she can just get, you know, completely get past it at some point and move on. You know, so that if, if nothing else, what's in the past is in the past, you can't change it, um, and there's no use in constantly dwelling on it. All that could be done now is to move forward and deal with new things as they come. And uh, just a quick final note here, uh, I was trying to mention while watching the special that I would have thought that, you know, if this Applejack, the human Applejack, was into Rodeo, I kind of would have thought that the level of equilibrium and balance needed for, for, uh, for, for doing that would have prevented her from getting seasick. However, I've been informed that those two things aren't necessarily related, and even if they were, we don't know if this Applejack does any Rodeo or not, so it's a moot point. The bigger issue is that the equestrian Applejack doesn't have any problem sailing on a ship at all, as we saw back in uh, Pony Point of View in Season 6 of FIM. That said, it's worth noting that the EG characters are, uh, you know, while similar in, in many ways to their equestrian counterparts, are unique characters, even to the point of, you know, their ages being quite different. So there's no reason a difference like this couldn't reasonably exist between the two Applejacks. And honestly, I love that there's differences, because that allows us to explore different sides of the same characters that we already know and love. Apologies for the jump cut, but I just started coughing, and you guys didn't need to hear that. So anyway, that's all I have for this special. Uh, this is definitely one of my top three favorite pieces of Ghost Girls content, right up there with Forgotten Friendship and Legend of Everfree. In no particular order, it's hard to choose really a favorite out of those three. And I know this isn't everyone's favorite thing, but I personally am a sucker for fan pandering. We got tons of that in this episode, as well as a decent lesson and an adventure unlike anything we've ever gotten before in Equestria Girls. So that that right there is why this is one of my absolute top 
favorites of this entire series. Very high rewatch value. I just uh, hope everyone who's watching was able to enjoy some of this uh, along with me. So thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you again next time.